This afternoon, uh, Iris Bruckner and I, Tim Janish, uh, from Capgemini Invent, are going to talk about the impact of automation on organizations and their workforce, and how Capgemini can help our clients through workforce transformation. So Tim, what is Capgemini's view on um, how artificial intelligence and automation are going to impact organizations and the workforce? At Capgemini, we see four trends that are happening in society. First, we see a technological transformation mm -hmm. that's happening. It's the topics you mentioned, it's automation, it's augmentation, it's enhancement, it's artificial intelligence. So we see a very much a technological transformation that's occurring. That's having impacts on society. Issues such as, uh, such, such as income distribution, um, demographics. We see a third transformation that's occurring, which is organizational. How are technologies impacting organizations? Yeah. How are they structured? How do they work? What do they focus on? And then fourth, and really the focus of, um, of our work here at Capgemini, is how are, how are technologies, specifically automation and artificial intelligence impacting the workforces of organizations and what can organizations do to prepare and respond mm -hmm. to those changes. So Iris, I understand you're, uh, you're an expert in this. Um, I would like to ask you a question. How do you, how do you see this as being uh, relevant for Capgemini's clients? Okay. With Capgemini Invent, I think we are very, very strong in helping our clients to prepare for digitization, to find solutions, to implement digital solutions, uh, automation, RPA and whatsoever. But what, from our perspective, from people and organization, we think it's very, very important to keep the what we call the social imperative, to check what is relevant for the workforce. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you ask companies how far they are with their digitization, how successful they are, um, over half of the managers and of the employees will say that it's only bringing them not as much as efficiency as they thought. And we strongly believe that the people imperative needs to be managed, and this is what we are looking for in order to be successful. You've mentioned that over half of, uh, of organizations and their employees feel that their automation and, and other technology initiatives haven't brought them any real benefits. What advice do you and Capgemini have for organizations who are facing the challenge of, of, uh, of these technologies? The people aspect needs to be regarded as an integral part of the artificial intelligence journey. This means you need to get an understanding via predictive analysis what is the concrete impact on your workforce, mm -hmm. which parts of roles of task activities are going to be automated, what other tasks are kind of coming in, and how you can evolve your employees in order to become ready for this digitization. Okay, yeah. good. I, li it's, that's, I like the concept. How does Capgemini help organizations to understand the impact of automation, digitization on the workforce? We have decades of experience in helping our clients to implement um, technolo technology solutions. Um, how we start uh, approaching this particular challenge is that we do an in-depth analysis of our clients' workforce. Mm -hmm. um, we're partnering with an external uh, uh, ecosystem partner by the name of Fathom. Um, and what we do is we do an in-depth analysis of the workforce in light of the organization's planned technology mm -hmm. implementations, as well as the potential technology implementations that are going to be on the horizon in a two, five, 10 year time horizon. What can organizations do to help to prepare for the future? create realistic plans how you would like to implement this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this means, like we said a little bit before, you have a strategy for your workforce, but it needs to be in line with your business strategy. Mm -hmm. so, so moving forward there, do the in-depth analysis. What is more, you need to look at your um, HR organization to see if it still fits to the requirements you have in such an environment where you constantly would need to check if your employees still have the correct skills. This could also mean that you need to evolve an ecosystem of learning solutions. You always also need to ensure that you have a proper change management approach that helps you to do the transformation. What do you see um, the, the range of potential impacts on an organization's workforce? It will reveal the part of the activities and the tasks that is going to be automated. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot of the discussions in, in the press that people are going to lose their job or that, they, 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 that, that some jobs don't exist any longer. From our experience, this will not be the case. It will be more that 
parts of the jobs are being automated or moving out. And on the one hand, this might mean that you need to evolve into a different role. So we are looking at a lot of upskilling, ensuring that people get the capacities. But on the other hand, it also means that certain tasks are going to be enriched with additional activities. If I look, for example, for um, database decision-making, yeah, those are things that were not able to be performed a long time ago. Also, so it, it really also augments the job we are currently having. Is, are there any uh, final points that you'd like to make um, about how Capgemini can help its, uh, help its clients to cope with the changing technologies? Yes. Um, what I would like to point out that regarding the journey companies are evolving on regarding digitization, artificial intelligence, the people aspect needs to be an integral part of this. Mm -hmm. This means we need to understand how our workforce is impacted by automation, by artificial intelligence in the future, which specific technologies are relevant. We need to evolve a people strategy from this, meaning also how do we need to upskill, reskill our employees, our workforce, that it has the competencies and the capabilities for the futures. This people strategy should not be a standalone. It needs to be integrated with the business strategy. Additionally, we would need to uh, reorganize perhaps our HR department, check if this is also set up to evolve with this constant need for upskilling, reskilling, hiring the right people. What you would need to know and what is important is that the whole transformation is, is um, accompanied by measures that help people to transform, to understand what I mean is proper change management that ensures that also the employees are taking on this journey. Great. Thank, Thank you, you very much.